Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Sam's Doing Stuff. What am I doing today? Well, I'm doing some tractor maintenance. And tractor maintenance isn't just oil changes, changing filters, and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes they need a little TLC, uh, and sometimes you get some bumps and bruises that you just gotta take care of. I've got a broken tail light, and the front grill guard is bent a little bit. Um, she, she, just, she just needs Need some love. So she's getting a spa day today and we're gonna get her back as close to looking like new as we can get her. So let's start with the easy part and let's get that tail light changed. You know, I broke this when I was over working at my dad's and uh, I thought, you know, I found the pieces on the ground, but I don't know, I was gonna glue it back together. No, no, do it right, replace it, do it, do it the way it should be done. So you just gotta take two little screws out here, I think. And I checked, the bulb is still working inside. So really, it's just the cover. Now, it wasn't cheap. I think, uh, I, think I paid $81 for the new lens cover. Anyway, this just comes off. The bulb's not damaged. And then here's the new one, nice and shiny and new. You know what, I'm gonna wipe that off first. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there'll be dirt in here later, but anything worth doing is worth doing right. So let's get that cleaned up. That's not bad. All right, now we can put the new one on. Oh yeah, beautiful. Put the screws back in there. Put that in place. Just push that, there we go. Just kind of hold that. And we can put the screw in. Tight, but not too tight. Wonderful. Okay, moving up to the front here. So I got a zip tie holding this thing from falling down. Let's go ahead and take that off. Does anybody else try and save zip ties? <laughs> I guess that's just my dad and me. You just push the little thing down and it comes right out. So uh, it looks like we got a 14 millimeter here on the outside and a couple of nuts on the inside. So let's loosen this outer nut. Actually, yeah, let's just open this up first. Uh, let's see. Take those both at the same time. I'll take a picture of this with my phone. Then I know what's what. Okay. And I'll probably just leave that there. Yeah, let's just leave that the way it is. All right. I believe that's supposed to come back. <clears throat> there we go. I think that did it. That's pretty good. That's a lot better than it was. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right on. It rubs a little here, but I think I can fix that. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, I got it shaped up just about uh, exactly where I want it. It really fits pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna hit this with some, this is uh, Rust-Oleum Charcoal Gray, which is about the best match you're gonna find. So I'm just gonna hit the front of this and uh, that'll, take care of all those little dings and scratches, you know, from hitting it with a hammer and everything else. 
Boy, that matches really well. The next thing I'm gonna fix is something that's been bothering me for just years. Um, these brackets here are what hold my sunshade on. The sunshade is just like conduit tubing that slides over these brackets. The brackets stay on the tractor and then you could take the sunshade on and off when you need. And of course that sunshade I also use for my uh, $54 tractor cab that I made. So it's very important and I want it to work right. So anyway, these are a little bit they, if they're in all the way tight against the rops, it bends the um, sunshade too much. It bends the tubing. So I put a one inch spacer in between them. Now, that's one problem I want to fix. But the other problem was I had lost one of these uh, nuts off of the other side. So I found uh, just a spare, you know, lock nut and a spare washer. So I'm going to I've got, I've got the parts that I need to fix that over there. But the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the spacer that I put in there. It's just a piece of wood. I've got some leftover treks from the deck. I'm just going to cut some small pieces of this because it's, you know, forever. It, it, it'll never rot or disappear and it'll work a lot better than the wood spacers. So let's get started on that. Here goes nothing. That's nice. That is good. Let's do it again on the other side. That's not going anywhere. All right, done. All right, now that I've got her sprayed down, I'm going to try the As Seen on Mike Morgan and Outdoor with the Morgans channel, the Chemical Guys foam cannon. Let's get it set up and see how it works. All right, it's all hooked up. I hope I got the right dilution. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Literally, give it a shot. Oh, yeah. All right.
Yeah, she's looking pretty good. She's looking better than she did when uh, we started. Uh, the foam cannon, yeah, it sprays foam. It does what it's supposed to do. It shoots foam all over it. I don't know. It doesn't have much of a solvent. It's probably more of a polish. Uh, yeah, the metal looks really nice and shiny and everything looks looks like rejuvenated, but uh, there's some bird poop on the other side that I had to wipe off with a rag and a couple of spots. The pressure washer, I think, washes more. The foam and the foam cannon, like I say, is more of a polish, it seems. It, it, didn't, uh, it didn't clean or, 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 you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so yeah, the foam cannon is cool. I'll probably use it more on my truck than I will on my tractor. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, let's get her in the garage. It's gonna rain and I gotta get that grill guard back on. Perfect. Well, ain't she purdy. This dirty girl got herself a spa day and i think she looks great my goodness i'm really pleased with the way that front grill guard came out because that was jacked up i got my tail light fixed shined up oh it feels good you know what you need to do you need to do to your tractor or even to your car what you would do if you were going to sell it without the intention of selling it so clean it all up Get it like, oh, you're going to trade it in or something, and then it'll look so good, you'll want to keep it. <laughs> hey, I want to say one more thing about that foam cannon, okay? I was, I know I sounded a little disappointed because it didn't clean the tractor as well as I wanted it to, but that formula probably isn't made for that. The foam cannon did what it's supposed to do. It sprayed foam all over the tractor, and that's, that's what its intent is, and... It doesn't make you put soap in your pressure washer. So you don't have soap going through your pump. The soap is after the whole unit. And I like that a lot because it's gonna preserve my pressure washer. And the foam cannon worked great. It shot foam like it was supposed to. And if you wanna use a different type of soap, something that's more, uh, you know, conducive to cleaning grease and stuff, there's probably some kind of a formula out there, but it shined it up quite nicely. She looks new. She looks as close to new as she can get for being five years old. So anyway, I appreciate you stopping by. I really had a good time with this. I feel so good about my tractor. Can't wait to get her out there and get her dirty again. So I will catch you next time when I am doing more stuff. See you then.